Hey everyone, Tanner Bell here. Welcome back to makersgonnalearn.com. In today's video, we're having an updated discussion sharing with you guys three different ways to clean your Cricut mats. Over the past few years, we've been sharing with you guys how to clean your Cricut mats, and you all have loved it. It has been primarily using LA's Totally Awesome from the Dollar Tree. This is only a dollar, and yes, it does work wonderfully, but there's been some flaws, there's been some questions, so we thought we would come to you today with three of the most popular ways that we found to clean our Cricut mats, share with you guys the pros, the cons, and be able to give you guys a true comparison on three amazing ways to clean your Cricut mats. Now before we get started, I want to give you guys a quick disclaimer. Cricut actually does not, um, you know, like to encourage you to actually clean your Cricut mats. Um, if you are within one year of purchasing a Cricut, it can actually void your warranty. So you wanna tread lightly when you are choosing to clean your Cricut mats or not. Now, if you've had Cricut past a year, you're actually out of warranty anyway, so feel free to go ahead and test out cleaning your Cricut mats and you can make that decision for yourself. Today, we're going to share with you guys three different ways one of which is using a baby wipe. This is something everyone has laying around and I think you're gonna be pretty impressed with how well it works. We're also going to go over how we use LA's Totally Awesome. From our last video, there's been some questions, so we wanna make sure to clarify that with you guys today. And third of all, we wanna share with you guys how to use warm water along with your Dawn dish soap. It is super awesome and I can't wait to jump into it. So let's get started. Now a big question I get is, Tanner, when do I know that I need to clean the Cricut mat? And my best answer for it is when you are simply able to touch it and you don't really feel enough stick. So mats like this, you know, it's not terribly dirty. It just has residue all over the mat, keeping it from getting its true stickiness. So this one right here, I'm actually going to test out using the baby wipe. And one thing I love about the baby wipe is that it does not require you to leave your craft room. You're going to be able to use it really easily and um, really quickly in any craft project or no matter what area you're crafting in, it does not really involve a sink. So all you need to do is grab a baby wipe right here. And then what we're going to do is kind of start in one corner and start working in a circular motion to cover the entire mat. Now you will want to fill around here for the different pressures. Um, you don't want to have too much pressure but even lightly going over this, you're going to see that it's going to start picking up a lot of that residue that you need to pick up. So you can already see that it's starting to show on your baby wop. And again, guys, I'm very lightly going over this. And I just like to go, I would rather go lighter pressure for a longer duration than trying to apply too much pressure. Remember, this is adhesive coated. Um, so you do wanna be careful that you do not scrape away the adhesive. That's one of the biggest complaints that we see when people are cleaning their Cricut mats. They actually are applying too much pressure. So you wanna be careful and go through this. You know, this may take two to three baby wipes, but that is totally fine to me just because a new mat is, you know, quite expensive. I believe a pack of two would be anywhere from like eight to $10. Um, so again, you know, one or two baby wipes to help you keep the life of your mat a little bit longer is pretty impressive. So now that you've got a lot of different, you know, residue that's came up really easily, you're gonna be able to sit that to the side. Just grab another baby wipe, and I like to kind of fold it maybe two times, and then you can just start wiping in that circular motion. It's gonna really make sure to pick up any of that residue. Um, you know, one of the best ways to keep your mat lasting longer is to make sure to keep that clear um, film that actually comes on the mat. Be sure not to throw that away because that is one of the ways that your mats are going to um, not have the longest life is because, you know, just the dust from our homes and our craft rooms can actually really ruin the life of our Cricut mats. So be sure to put that on and that will right away save you um, a lot of life with the Cricut mat. So you can already see, you know, using the baby wipe, it removes a lot of the main residues. Um, it may leave some, but that's totally fine because once you see that this sits here and dries for a second, you're gonna see instant um, at how well this works. And then you're gonna be able to feel the difference at how sticky it is now. 
So guys, as you're finishing cleaning your Cricut mat with the baby wipe, it's actually gonna be a little moist or damp, so it's actually not gonna be sticky yet. So make sure to let this sit for three to five minutes at least before touching it to see if your stickiness is back. It will bounce back, do not worry. So you just wanna let it sit here um, for up to maybe five minutes and then come back and you'll see the new and improved mat. All right guys, so we let this sit for about five minutes and it is amazing at the difference when you're simply able to take a finger and just touch it. I mean, it is so much more sticky and now this is going to be able to last you quite a bit longer. This is going to be a great way to help the life of your Cricut mat. I'm so impressed with this tutorial and technique. It only takes a few baby wipes and then you let that sit and dry and then wow, you're gonna have a nice clean mat ready to use for all those amazing craft projects in store. All right, my friends. So for the next one that we're testing out, we are gonna use the LA's Totally Awesome. And you may be a little skeptical of this product. So you find it at your local Dollar Tree. It's only a dollar, so it's super awesome. And for this technique, it's all about the pressure. So what you're going to need is the LA's Totally Awesome, a mat that you have just had given so much love to, and then what you're also going to need is some type of scraper tool. You can use a Cricut one, you can use a regular vinyl, um, or you could even go for the XL. So either one is going to work wonderfully um, to be able to clean your Cricut mat. But the secret here is to be able to take the LA's Totally Awesome, and you're actually going to spray it over the mat, and you want a nice even coat, okay? So once you give the mat a nice even coat, we're gonna let it sit here for up to five minutes, you know, three to five minutes again for this. Um, it's gonna let it sit here on the material in the mat, and it's actually going to kind of free up those fibers from the adhesive. So after we let this sit for about three minutes and we've given you know a nice even coat, make sure it's all coated evenly. And you can be a little bit more generous um, than you think just because we've never had a problem over spraying, um, just under spraying. So nice and easy. So you let this sit and then when we come back, we're going to scrape it um, very gently. So I would say tread lightly when you're applying that pressure due to the fact that you can easily wipe away those adhesive particles from your mat and it's actually not going to help you um, and you'll ruin your mat. So it's the whole process is making sure to go nice and light, okay? Now, in my opinion, this is a really fun thing to do. Again, I want to let you guys know, you can easily make the mistake of having too much pressure really easily. So you just wanna be very careful in this process. You've let this sit here for three to five minutes, and now it's ready to just kind of take this and scrape off all of the little fa uh, fabric particles. This is probably one of my favorite ways to clean the fabric grip mat, but it's all in the pressure. You can easily have a craft fill. So be careful, we've seen lots of people in the comments say this does not work, it removed all the adhesive, but the way to do it is this right here and it's worked for us and I know it's going to work for you guys at home too. So you just wanna take it right here and gently, gently start scraping off all of the different little fabric pieces. I'm not applying too much pressure at all, I am just taking it and scraping it. Now notice there may be some adhesive um, particles or little fabric particles left. That is totally fine because that is still going to be sticky at the end. You do not want to force too much off the mat whatsoever. And you can always go back for a second time, but if you apply too much pressure now, it is not going to um, ever be re sticky. So look at this right here, my friends. I mean, this right here is such a testament to how well this works. So then you can just kind of take this and put it on a piece of paper towel, clean off your little tool, and then go back and just start back up here. I mean, it's such a fun little thing to do, um, you know, to just maintain your mats. And these fabric mats, guys, they do not last long whatsoever. So having a process like this to be able to clean them, really awesome, this entire technique. Um, you're gonna see some things like we, this little Christmas tree that we've cut multiple times. You're probably gonna, it's still gonna leave that indention uh, and that's totally fine. 
All right, guys, we've just been able to wipe it all down with the spatula. We just went nice and slow, not too much pressure. And you can truly feel if you're applying too much pressure, you can actually kind of hear the adhesive, um, you know, resisting a little bit and kind of feel it. So just like when we use a true control knife on the mat and everyone says, Tanner, how do you not break the mat or snap it? It's kind of the same process. You feel through it. If you're worried about it, have no fear. It is gonna be awesome. And hey, you could test out using, you know, a mat that you were gonna throw away anyway. Test out all three of these on it and pick which one is truly your favorite. So now to finish this technique out, all we're gonna do is rinse it off with nice um, lukewarm water and then we're gonna let it sit and dry for probably 10 to 15, 20 minutes and then it'll be good to go to continue on cutting all of your amazing fabrics. All right, now the last thing I wanna mention about this technique is that once we were able to rinse it off, all those little particles that were left on the mat that we tried to scrape off easily came off. Why that is, I'm not entirely sure, but now you're able to take a piece of paper, paper towel, just pat it really gently, and then it is gonna be able to be dry, and now you have a nice sticky mat that again is super brand new for all of your die cutting with the fabric grip mat. This is probably my favorite technique um, for LA's Totally Awesome with the fabric grip mats, just because it does such a great job. Now guys, the third and final one that we are gonna be testing out today is the Dawn dish soap with nice warm water under a sink. So again, it's not my favorite technique just because you're going to have to probably leave your craft area. But if you're totally fine with that, this is gonna be a really awesome and really easy way to clean your Cricut mat, again, with just any Dawn dish soap as well as using that warm water. What we're going to do is apply some Dawn dish soap onto the mat. We're probably gonna let it sit there for a few minutes and just let it soak in, kind of like the LA's Totally Awesome as well. And then what we're going to do after we put it under the warm water, we're kind of gonna gently scrub it with our hand. You could feel free to use maybe a piece of paper towel. Just make sure it's nothing like a sponge that would you know, potentially hurt your mat. And that could be anything coarse or anything that you would use to like clean dishes with. Let's stay away from things like that and use things that could be a little bit more gentle. Um, and it should work really well. So I'm super excited to see what I think of this technique. So all I'm going to do is take the Dawn dish soap and just kind of gently apply it um, over the material or the mat. Um, and then I'm going to actually just go ahead and take my hand and I'm just gonna kind of massage it into the mat. And I think it'll start breaking up some of those particles. And again, this is so cool because it's not damaging any of the adhesive um, on the mat. So you're just gonna cover this really easily and you'll already see some pieces, you know, kind of flying around. Um, but the Dawn dish soap works really well um, from everything we've tested. So I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised with how this technique goes as well. Um, and one of the cool parts is it doesn't take too long at all. So now we're going to, again, turn on that lukewarm running water and then start massaging out some of these different um, pieces. I think a lot of the water will just naturally take it away, um, which is really awesome too. So now all you're going to do, since you've been able to wipe it off, it comes off really easily under that warm water, right guys? So you're just gonna take a piece of paper towel and while it's still wet, just kinda quickly go over it. Um, it should be really easy to be able to draw the mat. This will just fasten the draw time really easily. Um, and then make sure to draw off the back of the mat too because it will get wet. So now that you've been able to kind of pat it, make sure it's all good. Again, when it's wet, you're going to see that it is not sticky. So please be patient with all three of these processes. Let it completely dry and I think you're gonna be really impressed with how sticky all three of the mats are. All right guys, we've been able to share with you guys three amazing quick and easy ways to clean your Cricut mats. But you guys may be wondering, Tanner, which one is your favorite? Which one out of all three is most practical and which one are you going to probably use moving forward? I think the one that I would use is the baby wipe. The baby wipe was so easy. It cleaned the mat really quickly. There was no need to wait. There was no need for water. It just is the baby wipe. It's nice and simple and you guys know we like that here at Makers Gonna Learn. Now, I think I may stick to the LA's Totally Awesome when it comes to making sure our fabric mat is nice and clean because when you take that LA's Totally Awesome, mix it in with that water rinse, this mat is honestly 
I think stickier than when I first got it. I truly cannot believe at how well it works. So if you guys have been on the fence about LA's Totally Awesome and you have the Cricut Maker with that fabric grip mat, highly recommend splurging on the $1 bottle and giving it a shot. Be sure to leave us a comment and let us know, do you clean your Cricut mats? How are you cleaning your Cricut mats? We wanna know in the comments down below. Now, if you're brand new here and you enjoyed this video, we wanna make sure that you guys check out makersgonnalearn.com um, to join our membership. We have over 3,000 digital cut files, over 300 fonts, and so many amazing free value pieces that you're able to pick up over there. But our membership community has everything you need and more. If you're a die cutting enthusiast, you are going to absolutely need to be a member and you can join over the 6,000 like-minded crafters over there, connect in our community and have so much more fun. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more videos coming at you every single week. And we cannot wait to see you in the next one. Until next time guys, bye.